All right, pinball fans. Uh, today we're going to talk about the difference between DirectX and OpenGL. Um, there's a lot of questions on the uh, new 10.8. You know, which one should I use? Why should I use it? And uh, the differences between the both. And uh, first, I'm just going to read this little thing here. This is a uh, kind of the summary of it. Uh, the OpenGL is a purebred graphics API, and this means it doesn't deal with anything other than 2D and 3D graphics. Whereas DirectX, on the other, other hand, uh, it, it deals with everything. Graphics, audio, networking, and, and all that. So, on and what I've noticed is on a higher-end systems um, with video cards, anything, especially over the 10 series, so like a, you know, a 1070 up, 1660, then you get into 2070, 3070, 47, you know, on up, it, um, the video cards, the higher-end video cards that have more processing power, tend to work better with OpenGL. Now I've tested this with uh, 1660 cards, 2070, 3070, um, uh, 1080 Ti. Um, I think that's all the ones that I've used myself. Uh, and they do perform better on GL. So I'll, sh I'll show you some settings to use. And um, you can test and check for yourself. I mean, like I said, it's a persistent basis. And the good thing with the new version of 10.8, you can actually do separate. So, whereas before DirectX and OpenGL, as you see here, I open them both up. This left one is uh, DirectX, this right one is OpenGL, but they look identical. The settings are identical because they use the same settings. So, until now, you couldn't change that. But now, here's what you can do. Just for some reason, really, if you test a table um, in DirectX and GL, and um, GL works better, you're just going to use GL for everything. Um, because there's not going to be a point where the DirectX version will work better. If GL works better on all your tables, use it. If DirectX works better, use it. You really don't need to use both. Only instance that I could think of that you would you would have both is if you're going to fool with um, VR. Because the GL is needed for VR. Okay? But the GL is not only for VR. I don't use VR. I do have a VR. I've been tempted to check it out. But um, as for now, I have not tested it. Um, but I do use GL in my cab and my desktop here. So we'll go over some settings. Um, if you're going to do DirectX, um, basically you want exclusive full screen. You can force 10-bit uh, uh, coloring. You want color mode, of course. Um, you can leave frame pacing. Frame pacing, um, it automatically caps at whatever your resolution is. So I see some people say, put frame pacing on, then come down here and type in your, you know, your resolution like 60 or like this, my monitor's 165. They'll put in 165, and it, no, it doesn't matter. Frame pacing already does um, set that. So you just leave it at zero. Um, if you do want to do this your own set, say um, frame pacing not not might not be the best. So DirectX, you might want to try um, do adaptive sync, and then you can go in here and put in your uh, your frame rate. So try adaptive sync, uh, 60, 120, 144, whatever you got, 165. Um, leave max pre-rendered frames on one for uh, uh, DirectX. Um, on both of them, you're going to use Quality FXAA. Um, that super sampling, you can do that. It'll actually make your uh, image look better. You can go all the way up to 200 times multiply, but it's at a cost of uh, frame rate. Hard, too. So, um, but you can test it. If you have a strong enough system, test some of these out. And uh, it might look even better for you. Um... What else? So you need on um, direct action. You need to be full screen. Um, I use anisotropic filtering. For some reason you're lagging, you can you can check that, uh, uncheck that. I mean, and you can check uh, force bloom. Bloom gives you the bright light. So I know some of the older tables. Um, I think I saw was it Walking Dead or something. Someone posted. You could click this right here, and this will kill them super bright lights. Um, or you could uh, leave that on and you can come over here and um, into this setting. Let me see. I 
I'll just shine this down. They moved everything. But right here you have your bloom strength. You could cut that down to like 0 0.01 or something, 0 0.03. You know, really small to uh, cut the, the brightness down. But like I said, you want to uh, have uh, exclusive full screen. I use 10-bit in mine. Cabinet mode. Um, like Try maybe adaptive sync. Uh, resolution. This is for DirectX. That's kind of like a, the settings that you would want to try. Um, if a uh, frame pacing is the best, it'll keep you at uh, it'll keep you at your frame rate, and there'll be no, like 0 0.1 to 3 latency. I mean, it's really good, but it it does take a hit on frame rate. So if for some reason you you're still struggling with frame rate, you can try the adapt the adaptive sync. I'd give it a shot. Um, I know that does help, especially on a 1660. I use that on a 1660 adaptive sync. Put the hertz at 60, and um, it, it seemed to smooth the table out a lot. Okay. So now OpenGL. Um, like I said, you're gonna you're gonna leave it in window mode. Um, you're gonna have frame pacing. Uh, I didn't talk about these here. The, like. If you have a strong enough system, you can use dynamic. It really just depends on yours. I would use a, uh, I use a static and static and ball only. That seems to give the best results without, you know, with the least amount of hit. But like I said, if you got a, you know, if you're running a 4070 or something crazy, you could just, you know, pump up whatever you want. Um, same settings here apply. If if you're getting a little lag or something, you can try doing that. Forcing a bloom off and. Uh, turn off texture filtering um, and that's about it I don't um I usually don't use a super sampling I mean especially now with the VPW tables they already they already look so good um, but yeah you, you can't even adjust a pre-render frame in uh, OpenGL so you don't have to worry about that and frame pacing I mean frame pacing uh, and you don't have to worry about the frame rate so just zero zero or whatever that's set frame pacing and this right here seems to give the best results window mode uh and gl just plays super smooth this is a 3070 ti and then my cab has a 2070 super and um i can play everything no no issues so yeah let me know what you guys think let me know if that helps you a little bit on the settings and um till next time